it's your girl 30 here and let's get started with this q a um i'm gonna get started with the first set of questions coming from twitter uh, from rio harold uh well why am i being salty towards you all of a sudden i never thought i was being salty but like i said in the past video i'm not talking about anything black related from black lives matter to anything race related not answering it but anyway i'm moving on to your second one um what does Nature Girl think of the drama that the well that which that thug Chris Brown uh, and that pageant winner? I don't really watch the entertainment news anymore, so I really don't know what's going on. Um, so I can't really answer that completely. Um, has Nature Girl heard that Freddie Mother's uh, Freddie Thomas Mother's passed? Freddie Thomas' mom passed away in July. Yeah, I actually, he actually sent me a message telling me about his mom, and that's the reason why he hasn't really done a lot of videos lately. Um, and I kind of respect that. That's got to be a hard loss. And Freddie, you know, myself as well as Rico and Ray, we all support him, and we do our best to try to remain, you know, to try to be as supportive as we possibly can with that, because I know that has to be hard for him. Um, moving on to the next one. Does Nature, uh, what does Nature Girl think of that beautiful punk, Angie? Um, I remember her as CMY. I used to watch her videos a lot. I haven't really watched her videos lately, so I don't really know exactly what's going on. But she's not, um, when I watched her see a punk, excuse me, see a wall, she really wasn't all that bad. So for those that really want to have an in-depth, um, I guess, look at her channel, by all means, check her out. Um, the next question that you have for me and the last is which was the saddest death on Baywatch? Baywatch. Did any of the deaths make Nature Girl cry? I don't remember any of them. I haven't really watched Baywatch recently and I don't remember any of them and I can't really say if I have cried because I don't remember but did any deaths make Nature Girl cry? Pretty much all the deaths that are the, mo the, the most closest to me are the ones that really are sad. But other than that, I just feel sorrowful for a anyone that has to experience someone of, of a loss. So, you know, it's, I mean, that that's pretty much how I feel about that. Um, but moving on from there, I do have a second set of questions that actually do come from Largest85. And let's get started on that. I'm sorry, guys, if I seem a little bit lackluster here. I'm just kind of tired and a little burnt out. So I'm just not really as anim animated as I used to be. So my apologies for that. And I'm just going to continue with these. Um, let's go first. Start, let's get started with Largest 85. Um, since when have you been so politically correct? I'm not politically correct, people, okay? The thing is, is that if I have something to say, I will. But like I told you, it has... Let's put it this way. And this is the reason why, and I was going to actually save it towards the end, but this is going to be the last monthly Q&A that I'm ever going to do, ever again. And it's mostly because of the fact that just because I don't want to answer one of your questions... And because it doesn't make me comfortable feeling like the token black, because I get that enough in my life, I don't want to answer them. And I don't have to. I've already made sets of rules about this. It's been broken multiple times. I'm tired of having to be... Uh, I'm tired of the harassment, okay? I'm tired of the harassment. I'm tired of being accused of not answering your questions when you know your questions have violated my sets of rules. It's to the point where it's not making these fun anymore. That's why I quit the Q&As that I've done before, the mini Q&As, because it started not to be fun. Now, from the time of the, the, the video that I made in August, I got nothing but harassment from Twitter as well as from YouTube about me not answering the questions that you guys want to hear, even though you guys have violated it multiple times. Now, I'm just, after this, I'm done. There's not going to be any more of these. I'm done. And if you were actually in my shoes and wasn't in a position to feel like the token black, you wouldn't want to answer it either. Seriously. But all you guys want to get your questions answered, and I respect that, and that's why I asked you to send them to me, but at least adhere for, to my rules. 
That's all I gotta say. You do that with Freddy's, you do that with everyone else's, but with me, it's a different story. But in this case, it's not gonna happen anymore because I'm done after this. September is the last <laughs> of these monthly Q and A's. I'm not going further than that because I don't like the way I feel after do doing these. I don't like feeling angry, anxious, or having to feel like a token black. I should be having fun with these and they're not fun. I was gonna save this towards the end, but I'm just putting it out there because Large just pointed it out. You think I'm politically correct? I'm not. I just don't like feeling like a token. And y'all don't really mind if I do. So that's why I'm done with these. Seriously. And if anybody's pissed off to the point where they want to unsubscribe, go right ahead. It's like an everyday thing on this channel. So I can really freaking care less. I'm being honest right now. I don't care. If you want to unsubscribe, go right ahead. I will still be making my videos because this video, unless YouTube shuts down because of what it's doing at this point, I'm still going to continue making my videos my way and making myself feel and, 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 and feeling good making videos my way and saying what I want to say, regardless of whether or not you sub or not. Seriously. So if you want to dip out, go right ahead. I am not going to stop you. But other than that, I'm going to continue with um, Largest 85's questions. Why haven't we got a cure for cancer yet? I can't answer that, hon. I don't know. I can't answer that. I really don't know. Um, but at this point, it's what it is. Um, how many people did you piss off in last month's Q&A for not answering your questions? Oh, lots. Like I said before, I got harassed multiple times on Twitter as well as being harassed on YouTube because of the questions that I did not answer because of the rules that were violated multiple times, but that does not matter. But anyway, number three. Um, I don't know. Uh, doesn't that black dude from Tomb Raider 2013 like Red Page Jackson? I don't remember a black guy even being on there. Seriously, I don't. So... I really don't I really don't remember unless you're talking about rise of Tomb Raider because I haven't played that game so I really don't know um what did you think of the reporter dude from Tomb Raider who sold the Asian chick to out to father Matthias he wasn't a reporter he was he was a um he was a arch I think he was a teacher and an architect not architect um I can't think of who they are um not archaeologists but they're the ones that do research digging for bones. I can't think of the... It just blanked out on me. But no, he was not a reporter. There were no reporters on that ship. Either they were either teachers or archaeologists. That's it. He was an archaeologist. So there were no reporters on that ship. Um, and yeah, he was the token jerk. That was really bound... That was bound to happen. Um, and the Asian chick's name was Sam. Okay, her name was Sam. Samantha. That was her name. And Samantha got sold out by the uh, the architect teacher that actually went on the, the expedition with everybody. And there was no reporter on there. He was just a teacher. But anyway. Um, and your last question for me is, I live in an ethnic part of the state. Um, will it be a good idea if I decide? I don't really care what you do. Seriously. If you want to wear your Donald Trump hat, there's probably half of the people in the entire world that support you. So, hey, if you like Donald Trump, you like Donald Trump. I don't like him. I don't respect what he has to say, but it doesn't matter, now does it? And I'm not going to really go too much into politics, but if you want to be a supporter, go right ahead. Doesn't matter. I, it really don't matter to me. Seriously. And it shouldn't matter. I mean, and if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. That's just all I have to say about that. But anyway, I am done with Twitter. Let's move on to YouTube. Set of questions coming from Final Limits. Uh, I am not going to answer your first one because you know my rules, dude. Seriously. But I'll answer your second one. What are your thoughts about Del Rio leaving WWE? And was he a bad influence on Paige? I'm going to be honest with you. Paige is 22 years old. She can make her own decision and make her own mind up. And, and I mean, yes, she's young. But all I can say is that she is not naive. This chick has been in the game for years. If she, and nobody forced those, whatever those party drugs down her throat. And it wasn't the same ones, which means that she 
she probably picked it on her own and took it. Nobody's going to put a gun in your hand and say, take these pills or else. She made the decisions that she's made. As for a bad influence, whatever. She's freaking 22, okay? She's, she's 23 now. So, of course not. But as for Del Rio leaving, I understand. Del Rio just wasn't getting the respect he deserved. And he literally wasn't getting the push he deserved. But we all know that. I mean, we just, that's their MO, unfortunately. So he has every right to leave. And he'll probably make more money on the indie circuit than he's ever made in WWE. So more power to him. Um, your third question for me is, why did you think the old day segment was funny? I thought it was a complete waste of time because it was. I had the worst possible day ever that day, and it actually did lift my spirits up. I'm just going to say that. Seeing the old day as old people is funny. I'm sorry. It is. Even though there were a bunch of actors, I thought it was hilarious. And a, I mean, it was bad for Anderson and Gallows. But Anderson and Gallows' gimmick was going to be destroyed because they're from a completely different brand. That's why. We know who they're from, but we all know that that doesn't matter. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter at all. It matters of who how many, uh, uh, who you actually likes you behind the scenes in order to get pushed. You can tell because those guys are vets and they were beasts in New Japan. But they're garbage now. We know this. But as for that segment themselves itself with the with the old day, hilarious. And I thought those old actors were funny, even though they weren't old. But they were young actors dressed as old actors. I thought it was hilarious and I loved it. Even though the whole space-time continuum thing ruined it. But other than that, it was funny. Um, are you scared that poor uh, Christina... Gr uh, are you scared that what happened to poor Christina Grimey could happen to Eve Marie? Look, Eve Marie dyed her hair black. She has a whole bunch of other things to worry about out of straight-up rebellion, which I think was a bad move on her end. Unless she added a rinse, and it probably won't be that big of a deal. Her magnificent push that she was going to have being the being the women's champion is probably going to be blocked for a while. But she's the only dominant heel of the show out of, oh, possibly six other women, which means there are only seven women in that entire division. Other than that, it won't be that hard for her to get something back because there's, so, there's not that many women to go around. So they each got to be unique in their own way for it to even be considered. But other than that... Yeah, I don't think she's going to end up being like Christina Grimey. Not anymore, because she's starting to have fans that accept her for who she is. And it's actually okay to be an e e Marie fan right now. And she actually does have her own Red Army. So I don't think she's going to be like Christina Grimey. I think she's going to get even more heel heat. And I think people enjoy booing her, which is messed up. But, I mean, I enjoy her for being a true heel. But your final question for me is, have you ever been a victim of identity theft or if it, or know anyone who has? Yeah, I have. And it was many years ago. Somebody actually used my social security number in order to, use, or to get Medicare. And it actually did happen. I ended up getting a letter let, uh, letting me know that someone tried to use my social. And I had to literally spend months fighting it. It happens with anybody, especially in this day and age. It's a digital age. And these days, you got a lot of hackers that will hack you and try to take your identity for their own personal gain. Honestly, I mean, it's, it's what it, I, I can't really say it's what it is, but unfortunately, it's what it is. We live in a very digital era, and that's what happens, unfortunately. But I'm moving on to the last set of questions that I have coming from Dustin Nunn. Um, Dustin, my apologies for not putting your questions in for August. I completely missed them, and my apologies for that. But I did get your messages, so I'm going to go ahead and just put those questions out there. Um, your first set that you sent me is, um, and you have sent me um, multiple, but since it's going to be my last, I'm going to go ahead and just get them all out there. Um, your first set of questions are, do you think that Twitter should get rid of uh, their follower limit? I, yeah. Do you think that Twitter should get rid of their follower limit? No, I don't think they should. Um, I don't really know what the big deal is about the follower limit, but I don't know. I mean, I guess that's, I guess that's kind of the, the deterrent on whether or not people are going to follow you or not, how many followers you actually do have. So, I mean, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, do you think that Roman Reigns should turn heel? He kind of already is, but in a way, he isn't. Like, they really don't know what to do with him. I think he should be a full-fledged 
just right out straight up despicable heel and i think that's what should be happening at this point point. and three what are your thoughts on smackdown live it is far better in my opinion than raw because of the quality of it it's actually a really good show to watch wrestling wise and when it comes to heart these guys have a lot more to gain because they don't really have a huge roster their roster definitely is slim pickings their women's division is considered a joke compared to raw's but they actually have a lot more heart in their matches and it's more of a wrestling show. So if you're a wrestling fan, you're going to like SmackDown Live. And with Talking Smack, it's brought a lot of heat to the show, which is good because it gets people interested in watching the show. I enjoy it. I enjoy SmackDown Live a little bit better than Raw because mostly SmackDown Live is two hours. Raw is only three. Well, not only. Raw is three and SmackDown's only two, which makes SmackDown easier to digest. That's just me personally. And your, your last set of questions that you have for me is, do you think the Xbox One S is, will be a good system? Um, I'm actually thinking about getting an Xbox One S, um, especially the, uh, the fact that I like the controllers. And I've always wanted to have an Xbox One. And from what I'm hearing, it's not that bad. It actually... Oh, excuse me. It actually, from, from what people are saying about it, it's not really that bad of a system. It's just a lot smaller than the Xbox One, which is supposed to be huge, in other words. But, I mean, I don't know. I guess they're trying, uh, Xbox One is probably a throwback to the old original one. But in my opinion, from what I'm hearing, it's a pretty decent system. Did you hear that PlayStation 4 Slim, it was leaked on the internet? I don't know why they're making a slim version of a PlayStation 4 because a PlayStation 4 is already slim. So why bother wasting all that money making a PlayStation 4 slim when you already have a slim system? And yeah, I actually did see pictures of it and I think it is confirmed at this point. But yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Which game console company do you think is the best? Microsoft, Nintendo, or Sony? Um, I actually had an original PlayStation. They have a lot of great games. I just hate their controller. Their controller is the most uncomfortable controller with hands like these or nails like these with for anybody. Like, there's some people who are comfortable playing. I hate their controllers. I like Microsoft because I use a lot of Microsoft products and seeing how it can integrate into some of the systems that I have. Like, I have a Windows phone. So, and I have Xbox Live, so I'm able to, to literally send messages from my phone to Xbox Live. I mean, it's, you know, it, it's really easy for me because I have a lot of Microsoft products. And plus, I like the games. I like that I have a huge Xbox 360 library, and the games are still replayable to this day. I don't know much about the Xbox One's library, but all I know is that they're able to convert the old Xbox 360 games into games that you can actually play on Xbox One compatible. And they have done a lot of reboots. Um, well, not reboots, but they actually have done a lot of remastered versions for the Xbox One. They actually did a Bioshock collection for Xbox One, which I am going to get. I know they did it for the PlayStation 4 too. But I am going to probably get that entire collection for Xbox One when I finally get one. It's going to be amazing, and I look forward to that. As for Nintendo, it is way too kid-friendly. I'm sorry. It really is. You can't take the Wii seriously because the Wii is just too kid-friendly. Not to mention that I don't like Nintendo because of the accessories. They have far too many of them. The, shoot, with the Wii, you had a Wii steering wheel the Wii Mote was complicated to use even if you had the bowling thing it would always fly out your hand and break your television set it was just way too many accessories to have and that's what turned me off from Wii I like Microsoft because their controller is uh, is kind of ergonomically sound to where it's comfortable to hold and it's really easy to play with and I enjoyed that more so than the PlayStation controller. I never get comfortable with it. It's still very awkward to me. But in my opinion, from my personal taste, it's gonna be Microsoft. The controller is really, is, is a comfortable, is, the controller is very comfortable for my hands and it's easy to get to the buttons without accidentally hitting another. When it comes to the games, the games are a lot more mature, but they're a lot more in depth and they're not really afraid to go the extra mile. 
And then you also have the gameplay for some of the old 360 games. If you want to go retro, like I usually do, it's worth playing. And some of the new games, I don't really know. But as far as I know, I'm, I'm hearing some, I'm hearing a lot of good things. Yes, they kind of screwed up with Master Chief. But we all know that when companies kind of put their hands in a cookie jar, it messes stuff up. We're aware of this. But... And also the fact that you're able to have Windows 10 integrated into your Xbox Live experience by be able to play Xbox Live on your computer through the um, through the smart board, I think is pretty is pretty smart. Especially if you want to take it somewhere with you, like if you want to go take it on the go and you still want to get achievements. And that happens to be my weakness. I love getting achievements for Xbox Live. You can actually do it from your Windows phone. You can do it from your computer. It's it's the system itself is easier to be integrated into other things besides your console, and you don't have to buy a separate console like the P, that the um, PS Vita in order to get that same experience. You can actually use the consoles you have. That's why I enjoy Microsoft more because you're able to integrate systems from your console from Xbox Live into your computer through the smart board. Or if you want to make recordings and put it up on your channel, you're able to do that easier with ha being on Xbox One than having to go on Twitch if you want to go on Twitch and do it. If you don't want to go on Twitch and do it and you just want to record from your computer, you can actually do that. You can probably do it with a Play PlayStation 4 too. But in my opinion, it's probably far easier to do it from the from Microsoft than you would actually do from Sony. That's just me. That's my personal opinion there. But that's it for me. But like I said, guys, this is the last Q&A that I'm going to do. I'm not going to extend it throughout the year. Um, just to let you guys know. So don't send any more questions to me. I'm done after this. Like, seriously, I'm not doing any more of these. But I do thank you guys for sending me questions for this Q&A. And I'm just done from here. And um, peace out, y'all. And thank you for sending me your questions. Have a lovely day. Well, morning. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you.